Welcome back. You're watching Big Deal, and we are discussing the investments that are going into the where to the housing sector and what the, and what the future is in terms of the potential of returns as well as, as well the exit mechanism. And Yash as well as Alok and Anshul are Anshul right here in the studio with us. Now we, we were discussing the various aspects as between uh, you know international investors. Now H and I's are looking are look so keenly at it. So Alok, uh, what is the the return parameter expect or expectation considering that we are already discussed already discussed the development risk the development risk has been taken being taken right. by the HNIs. So there are two so the specs here Nisha that we Nisha should see. So if I see a completed warehouse and hypothetically if the warehouse is grade warehouse is A and it is going to a grade A quality, grade quality tenant like a Amazon or a Flipkart or Flip or you know Mahindra's then the rental yield is seven to eight percent yes. at best, seven percent more likely, and yes. uh, uh, so that is the thing. So at seven percent, at seven, nobody is you know interested uh, yes. at taking it, taking. It. But if you are able to tie up with with say an organized in all there, and therefore people are when they are taking the development risk, the option is that you know am I able to make something between eighteen to twenty to eighteen percent? Yes. Now the beauty is if you do it yourself, do it. You have to do all. You have to do the. You know, uh, getting the uh, approvals, bank processes, bank. Process, bank loans, mm -hmm. land clearance, everything, and then finding the tenant. And why would an Amazon talk to you an individual? He'll not. Amazon will not talk to an individual. Mm -hmm. True. Mm -hmm. And uh, and reason I'm using Amazon's I'm using Amazon is they're because in re in recent times they've been the biggest users of warehouses. Yes. So that's the reason. So it becomes very inefficient to get that 20% plus. Mm -hmm. Now, moment you come into a fund structure, a fund structure. Mm -hmm. Hmm. All these things are taken care of. There is an organized uh, way of doing all these doing all things, and the return expectation does not get tempered down. Get temp because yeah. yes, you are taking the development, that will also take individually, yeah. which the HNAs are willing to take. They understand land, they understand India. So if you are getting that 18 to 20 percent return, percent return hmm. being in an organized area hmm. where you can participate in the size and scale, I think that is the beauty. Hmm. And, and as you know, Anshul was mentioning, and as Yash was mentioning. You see it used as a pre-read or a pre-invit fund. Now today, you know, you have so many reads and many reads that have got listed in India, like an embassy or a power grid and all. Now they all they are trading at an X price, hmm. but the developer has entered obviously entered of the early stage. Hmm. And even if you look, hmm. and you look at a Blackstone, a Blackstone entered an embassy at a pre-read stage. And they made a killer. They made a killer return, return on yeah. that. Killer return. That's yeah. the one of the biggest. Yeah. Exactly. So the so idea. It's the same opportunity. Same opportunity. It's the same opportunity. Yeah. It's the same opportunity. Yeah. It's the same opportunity yeah. that same you're opportunity. looking at. Yeah. And are you really betting on some of the you know entry barriers to this particular sector, which yeah. sect not everybody can deal with? Yeah. And especially yeah. the the very political and sensitive place of land acquisition. Yes. Oh, my favorite topic. Yeah. Favorite topic. Uh, and it's my my actual my official title should be land buyer and land buyer, not managing director. I managing director. Feel sometimes. But hmm. that's the area of the business which is the most complicated. Yes. That is the also the biggest risk. Biggest risk yes. when we look at a project and underwrite a project. Write a pro now land in India has inherently is a is a complicated topic. Yes. So complicated topic. So, there is very little any government can ma you know wave a magic wand and fix that overnight just because right. of the way land is originated from our history from our hi in India. Yeah. Uh, uh, remains the number one challenge. The number challenge to be very honest, but also for a company like Wellspun. Wellspun, it's the number one opportunity yes. because we're so good at it. We mm. know how the world operates. Yes. We know how to buy land. We we don't take aggregation, take aggregation risk. Yes. Uh, we have a very rigorous, a very risk investment committee, which is by the way, which is independent now. Mm. Independent. Uh, it's a it's a very highly governed body. We govern mm. uh, that mm. uh, takes these calls. Mm. So for us, it remains it is a big opportunity. But for most people, uh, uh, it remains uh, the biggest entry barrier and the biggest risk. An area of land land uh, land acquisition is when when people start to become start to getting the Superman mentality mm. and they start taking start taking unusual calls usual mm. uh, in terms of buying cheese or buying holes mm. or buying pockets of land which may yes. not develop yes. develop. Yes. I don't think we would ever do that with investors' capital or our own capital yes. uh, into a fund. Yes. So we pay a significant importance on due diligence, 
clearing it. So, for example, in the example, West, we work with a DSK law firm mm. or a Wadia Gandhi. In the North, mm. we work for, with a similar. No, it's a lot. Law firm. It's yeah. a lot of work to get a lot of work. The clean, it's very, clean. It's, it's a lot of work. It's in, a lot of work in, yeah, in yeah. India. Yeah, absolutely. And, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, even for us now, it's 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 a significant <laughs> amount of our time goes more of our into that. Uh, but that could be a USP for a developer or dev local yes. developer. Yes, 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 it and, could be. Yeah, and yeah. that could really take you long in that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so Yasha, what do you think about the exit opportunity? Opportunities. So, sure. from whatever I've heard, it's like it sounds like a pre-written bit kind of a scenario. Scenario. What are the exit opportunities that you see? Is that you know the, the interesting part in this is because of the growth story, the growth that we are talking about, right? I, right. I think the exit opportunities what we have today will only will only multiply in the future. The standard ones that are there is the minute you have an ink, you have an introducing asset, using as yes. a rent yielding asset as a stabilized warehouse becomes a you can sell it by warehouse each warehouse by itself warehouse by, whether to an individual investor or to or, or to or to a uh, or to a uh, uh, company uh, or you could be you could sell it to a REIT mm. or, or you could become a REIT yourself mm. or you could even become listed company if you want to and if you want to institutionalize the business and just become a development company mm. so what the the beauty of the of of the business the domestic business that 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 uh, Anshul and the Wellspan group is leading is the fact that they have all the opportunities that the international guys have mm. and some opportunities which the international guys, which the international guys typically don't have yes. in that case. And the international guys and the inter love it because the international guys are international saying, listen, we want, listen, we want to we want to place billions of dollars of capital, mm. but we can't go out and buy billions of dollars of land. Yes. Yes. So, so if a wellspun one is comfortable doing, is comfortable in that, let them go out, buy the land, let them land, build the warehouse, let them get the tenant. And we'll just buy the entire portfolio out and give a huge return to their investors. Right. We are happy. Right. We are because we have we we want to place a lot of capital. They're capital happy because they make a lot of return. Yes. And, and, yes. and just to add to that, just seven percent seven return even for an international takeout capital mm. is escalating is escalating at a five percent per annum. Mm. So on a five year or five window, it's a twelve it's percent unlevered return. Levered return. Mm. If you lever it, mm. even that mm. you add you know, and then of course the REIT has the REIT has an appreciation story and all of yeah. that. All of yeah. that. It's still a very good 14, 15 percent yeah. return mechanics after the juice has been removed on development. On development. Right? But it's definitely more beneficial than a proper IP or you are a listing. Yeah. So yeah, the IP or a listing in our space would effectively be a listed REIT, listed Nisha, which uh, we would probably never list the company, right? But the, but listing the the major benefit of major listed listing is liquid listing mm. so if it's a listed instrument the instrument then say you know tomorrow if uh, wellspun one does spawn do a read in the future uh, or any other platform does do a read in the future for well in the future housing you can now buy now buy put 500 rupees and and you know and, and invest in the warehousing return and then Six months later, if you don't like it, you can sell it. Right? Yes. yes, I think that's the liquid. biggest. And it also yes. determines. It, it depends on how large is the listing yeah. and what kind of investors you want. Of investors, of course. So if it's a large listing, which is what uh, Wellspun One will Wellspun probably be aspiring for, uh, for uh, then those investors, which are typical investors, which are international investors, uh, are saying, I don't want to get into an IPO of a listed IPO for company because the money then stays with the listed company. What they will do with it, I don't know. And the value of that uh, of that that listed company's stock is based on its future earnings. I'm not sure of all that. Of all that, I much prefer a REIT where I know exactly what I'm buying into. I'm buying. I know I'm getting distributions every year from, every, from that. It is very tax efficient, tax efficient for me, and I'm not the risk at the risk of the promote of the reinvesting that uh, that capital in the future. Right. Future. My capital comes back to me. So, so, so that uh, cash back uh, distribution that is done by REITs, done by invests, mm -hmm. is one of the big pool pool, uh, pool factors. Factors and also also uh, fixed income combined with equity. Equity uh, gives a lot more uh, uh, investors. The yes. And that's the yes. best yes. way to explain it. Yeah. It has the be yeah. benefit of a fixed yeah. yeah. income and yet the upside of, a, uh, of yeah. an equity. All right. So it looks like that logistic, that lots and warehouse uh, warehouse is going to make a big way.
uh, in, to reach an invention in eventually, but it has to reach has to a critical size yes. for that to yes. for come in. And yes. the uh, yes. and uh, you know uh, entry of H and I of it is into uh, that to uh, investment is also also giving a Absolutely. lot of positivity positive in terms of its growth path and building yes. in terms of scale. All right, scale. Thank you so much, uh, so much, Anshul, Thank Alok, you. as well as Thank you. Um, Yash, for this riveting call, this rivet conversation on all the aspects of warehousing and logistics and the investment there. Investment. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of Big. This edition deal. Thanks so much for tuning in. Tuning in.